Aquarius, I'm back y'all with another banging ass video. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. This is going to be for the week ahead from November the 17th through the 25th, okay? So let's save y'all up. <laughs> We need that love, light, energy. Okay, so let's clear the energy and then we're going to get started. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm happy that you're here. Go ahead and click the bell so you'll get the notifications. Go ahead and subscribe, okay? All right, so Aquarius. What messages do you have for Aquarius? November the 17th through the 25th. Mmm, y'all anxious. So anxious. Meet me at 11.30. Love it when you're talking dirty, said I'm so anxious. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's this? What's going on? I got the Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Has there been like a breakup? Possibly from a Leo. Got the Strength card here. The Devil and the Seven of Swords. Ooh, somebody is a straight up narcissist liar cheat sneak <laughs> mm. okay so now y'all on edge okay y'all are on the edge of your seat y'all on the edge of your seat yeah Somebody's keeping drama going. And you, you're to the point where you're tired of it. Yeah, somebody's keeping drama going. You may be doing a lot of juggling, okay? I feel like you really love this person and it's hard for you to make this decision on whether or not to close a chapter. Okay, but for some of you, it's definitely a Leo. Um, whew, gosh. You trying to leave before shit get real. Ooh, I'm getting a baby mama, baby father thing here going on. We got the mother and the father card here with the empress and the emperor. Okay. So this could definitely be like a mother, father thing, a baby mother, baby father thing. Yeah, masculine and feminine energy here. I'm getting somebody gets mad and leave and leaves. So there's some type of disagreement. Um You were waiting to see how this person was gonna, how this person was, how, how this situation would affect this person, okay? <laughs> yeah, you you possibly want to see, you possibly want to see how this how this I'm getting like you wanting to see how this person responds to some to, to the situation. I mean, I'm sensing that there is a breakup, though. Or you're planning your exit. Okay, I got the Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Like, I'm getting like, some of y'all are making an exit strategy. Like, y'all ready. Y'all on y'all way out the door. Okay? 
We got the star card, which is you guys' energy. The three of cups. Like, yeah, the knight of swords. <laughs> you possibly hoping that they got somewhere that they can go. Some friends or something. You found out the truth about this person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You found out that this person is a freak. <laughs> they 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 be doing them mm, they do you got tired of waiting them waiting for them to tell you the truth so it could have possibly resulted in a disagreement an argument and someone walks out or you're planning you're planning you plant this already ahead of time or you're planning your exit and it looks like going ahead, your guard is up, okay? And then it looks like you're waiting to see if this person is going to miss you. <laughs> is they missing you? But I'm getting that there's just a bunch of arguing and a bunch of childlike energy too. There could be children involved as well, but especially with the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords, there could be children involved in this situation. But it looks like somebody here has real big ego issues and wants to be right. Like, that's just what it seems like to me. Like, someone here is just wants to be right. They want to be able to say that they want an argument. I'm not sure if this is you or them. But all I know is it ain't right. <laughs> okay. It ain't right. I'm getting like, you just know how this person thinks. Like, you know how, you knew how this person was going to respond so you planned this and possibly like an exit strategy or a way to get them up out of your way. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. I've seen all signs. Aries. Um, there was a lot of air energy there. So some of y'all could be dealing with the air sign like yourself. But I saw all signs. The only, thing, only sign that I don't think I really saw was, was the um, earth energy. But I did see a lot of air. A lot of air. And I saw Sagittarius' energy as well. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to my Aquarius, please? And thank you. Okay. I can't let go of the past. So they're holding on to the past here. They're going through some type of awakening. And they are going to reach out to you. They are going to reach out to you. But it's like they just don't really know how to deal with this situation. They don't really know how to deal with the situation. And they're undecided, okay? So they're looking like, you know, they need time to think this through. But they do, I, I got, I feel so much love for you. So they do care, okay? And they're worried that you're moving on without them, okay? So, yeah, I got this person worried. Y'all got this person worried. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, all right? I'm going to chat with y'all later. Thank y'all so much for tuning in with me. Um, if you want to book a personal reading, guys, I am running a special for $10 for 10 minutes. You can contact me via email. And we can just set up for a reading. You can check out my website as well, guys. Um, all of that information is in the drop box below, all right? And I'm going to chat with y'all on another day, all right? Ciao for now.